One thing that really interests me about startup culture is what gets people into it in the first place. Like any other addiction, it has its strange pathways. I think a lot of people become entrepreneurs because they're simply not suited for the workforce. Other people have delusions of grandeur, they want tons of money. Uh, other people just happen to actually have a product, maybe that they developed by mistake or just for fun, that ends up making so much money that keeping their normal day job doesn't even make sense anymore. But there is more of a, cult a cultural thing that I think draws a lot of people here into it. Especially coming out of the Stanford Graduate School of Business, there you see 16% of the student body has founded a startup within one year of graduating. And when you're there, you feel a strong cultural obligation to start a company almost. And it's a really sort of fascinating pressure. And it is a pressure throughout Silicon Valley in general. When you're hanging out with people in Silicon Valley and you say, oh, well, what is your startup doing? You know, what is your, no matter what they are, you know, whether they're, you know, a, a, a secretary, a, you know, Google, they've got their own little startup they're working on in their spare time. Because I think it is a lot such of people make obligation. them up, actually. Like, you, you, yeah. you can't be asked, like, so, what, you know, what do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. If you're like, oh, well, you know, I really enjoy knitting. You're not, like, you get a better response if you're like, oh, you know, I have this little startup on the side. And a lot of the startups that I heard people describe, like, they never really got made. They weren't really real. But it's just like when people talk about someone they're dating. Yeah, it more means this is an idea I tell people about when I think they have money. It's the girlfriend in Canada. <laughs> it totally is. And ultimately, I felt that cultural pressure too. But it wasn't until I fell in love with a dedicated entrepreneur, this guy, um, that I kind of got pulled into it. <laughs> Jesus. So there are lots of ways that it can happen, but beware, it's not as easy as you think it is. <laughs> well, saying you're doing it's pretty easy. That's true. Having a girlfriend in Canada is pretty easy.